everyone. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm at Oslo Airport right now and I'm about to start an insane Arctic adventure to Longyearbyen, which is a Norwegian town in the islands of Svalbard. Uh, and I'm so excited to go uh, and have a little surprise. I will be flying in the cockpit today. Not every day you get to do that. It's one of the most fun things like an Avgi can possibly do. So uh, I hope to share the adventure with you. Uh, come along and keep on watching. So I paid for this ticket using miles and there's an insane deal with SAS since this flight technically is domestic within Norway where you can get it for 10,000 miles round trip. The ticket would have cost over $400, but thanks to signing up for a Scandinavian American Express card, I was able to get this ticket entirely for free uh, with just a few taxes. If you're interested in those cards, make sure you check out uh, the links in the description and especially sign up for my new free newsletter where you'll get uh, a free one week guidance on my credit card strategy for Scandinavians. And of course, if you live in other countries, um, there's plenty of deals, tips and tricks that I have to share with you as well. So we started our journey towards Svalbard, which is um, one of the more northernmost airports in the world. And one of the things that's so cool about this flight is that we land about half past 12 in the evening, uh, and it will still be light out, hopefully, or it will definitely be light out. So that's going to be really cool. I'm going to come back to the cockpit later on. Uh, the sun is glaring, even though it's 10 p.m., uh, and we're heading straight north. It's 11.20 p.m. And it's light as day. It's actually lighter out now than it was when we took off, which was at 9.30. This is a three hour flight north of Oslo, which is one of Europe's northernmost capitals. So it's 
knock time on SAS and I love that they give you uh, smoothies on board. Obviously they're not complimentary, but it's still unique of SAS to offer that. The crew are probably the most delightful SAS crew I've ever had. All right, so as a relatively long time SAS critic, I will be the first to say that I see big improvements being made. I think that the service level is really improving uh, and it, for some reason it seems like the crews, they're hiring a lot of young, very passionate people which is great. Also their cabins are improving, their service concepts are improving and honestly I can really say I'm beginning to come proud, become proud of my national airline which feels awesome. Thank you. 
Det är friskt ute. And we've arrived. It's what time is it? Do you know it's 20 to 20 to 12, right? Or 20 to 1? 20 to 1. Wow. Well, thanks for an excellent flight. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. So here is really <laughs> the airport. Here is my plane. And here is the view. Yes, here it's fine to stop in the middle of the road because <laughs> no one really drives here at 1 a.m. <laughs> So on one of my three days there, I took an incredible excursion to a ghost town called Pyramiden, which is a few hours by boat from uh, the town of Longyearbyen up here. Uh, it's incredible seeing this deserted place really in the middle of nowhere with no phone signal, just surrounded by mountains and uh, across from the town is an enormous glacier which we got to visit up close on my tour with Svalbard Booking, which made it quite unique and really exciting. So if you want to check this out, I'll leave a link for it below as well, because um, this was the only real excursion I did during my time there, uh, and I'd say it was definitely a good choice. <laughs> Over there is Pyramiden International Airport. Not too much going on here. Thank you. 
So, guess what time this departure was? 2.30 a.m. in the morning. That is, once again, quite unfathomable. But that's just how light it is up here. And I cannot recommend enough that you go here and check out Svalbard. It's truly one of the most incredible places I've been. 78 degrees north, 24 hours of daylight in the summer. Uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, if you live in Scandinavia, please check out uh, the description and subscribe to my newsletter uh, where you'll get a free guidance on how I collected enough miles with just one credit card sign up bonus to get these flights for free. Of course, if you do live in other countries, make sure you subscribe as well because I'll be sending out tons of other tips tricks and secrets via email to you very soon um, and I'd like to thank you all for watching if you like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up comment below what you thought of course subscribe for much more like this and until I see you all next time fly safe <laughs>